Hi everybody, Stephen Levine from NASCAR Illustrated here with Daryl Wallace Jr. Not in front of a car that you typically race, at least I no. assume you don't. No, no, not at all, not at all, I'll get beat. Yeah, so, so unless you're racing other, what is this, 67 Beetles? 67 Beetles, how, yeah. Yeah, how did this come into your possession? Well, um, a friend, good friend of mine, Mark Davis, he had, a, I don't know what years this was, but he had a Beetle. And uh, he was gonna sell it and he asked me to buy it for him. I was like, ah, I don't know, I kinda just wanna find one fully restored. And I did, and I found this one uh, probably two months after, and and for cheap. So I fell in love with it the, the moment I saw it. So it was cool. So you didn't actually have to do any restoration work on this. It, this is as as you bought it. Yep. Uh, I've added a few things. I've added this this trunk. Of course, there's nothing inside. Yeah. This just set dressing. This is it. That's <laughs> it. All for all for decoration. Uh, I actually lowered it about two inches. I want to go lower. I want to put it on the ground on the airbag. Here's the thing though about Beatles, because my dad had one probably a few years after this one was made. Right. My dad was not a car guy. Beetle was the car that anybody could work on, yep. regardless of whether or not they knew what they were doing, but you're a car guy. It doesn't necessarily feed that part of you that wants to get your, your fingernails dirty, get under the hood. It does, but the stuff I want to do to it, it costs a little more money than, ah. than a, a normal brake job or something like that. I don't know, there's a lot of stuff on my list that we're gonna have to wait on. See if I can give me a truck win or two to tell yeah. me help me make that progress a little bit quicker. You know, we uh, we go to these guys, you know, your, your fellow uh, race car drivers' homes, and they've got, you know, muscle cars or hot rods mm -hmm. or maybe a vintage Ford pickup that they've restored. Yep. What does it say about you that you've got a VW Beetle? You know, Logano, good friends, and uh, he's got about four different cars, uh, from his rat rod to his, uh, I don't know what he just got, some Ford pickup truck, but uh, it's, I don't know, it's just fun. It's, it's fun, you know having vintage cars and, and you know, showing them off when you can and, and let, see what everybody says. Some good, some bad, but yeah. hey, it's all right. As long as I like it, it's all good. The day we bought it, a guy wanted to buy it. Now uh, we drove two hours uh, back home and we stopped to get something to eat and he rolled up and was like, how much you want for it? And like, we just got it today. <laughs> and then I just got it last week, uh, somebody else wanted to buy it. So uh, it's a hit, I'll take it. Yeah, man, you stand out, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. That's for sure. The next, next big project though, is the VW bus. The micro bus yes. with the huge VW on the yes. front. Yes, nice. that's what I want to get. And go follow the Grateful Dead? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. exactly, <laughs> exactly. You won't need a motorhome. If you get that that bus I'll, I'll with the set T yeah. right in the back. Yeah, just trick it out in the in inside and we'll be all right. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. All right, man, well, thanks for showing it off. I appreciate it, thank you.